Hey everyone, Max at Eve Pianos here. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the top three keyboards for aspiring pianists that are heading off to university. If that's you, then stick around. So let's get right into it. First, I have here the Korg B2. This is the cheapest of all full length 88 key, fully weighted digital keyboards that we sell. Going on to the features here, we've got three main buttons that control the features that the keyboard gives you, along with the volume wheel and the power on and off button. So you get 12 different voices with this keyboard, which is actually quite a significant amount if you think about it, considering that it's the cheapest keyboard we do. 12 voices is a lot for you to play with, which I think would be perfect for a university student that is looking to grow in their creativity and might be around other musicians playing different instruments and things and is just looking to have some fun and play around with the different voices. Um, it also has it also has a metronome feature which is great, perfect for when you want to practice. Um, you can play along to the metronome. Although I must say I don't think this keyboard is very well laid out in terms of how you navigate your way around the instrument and work with the different features. Um, Although it does give it a nice, slick, clean look because there's not a load of buttons and gadgets sticking out, but it, it does make it that slightly more bit complicated to understand how it all works. We also have two big speakers here on the ends, um, and this is where this instrument excels because considering it's at the lowest price, these speakers produce a really good punchy volume, um, and they won't let you down if you're looking to play loud. So I'll just demonstrate that now. So they really keep up with you if you're wanting to play hard, which I think is great. Um, although one thing I have noticed is that the EQ f stays fairly in the mid section and it doesn't produce as much depth and brightness as the other two keyboards do. I should also mention that this keyboard is by quite a significant amount the heaviest of the three keyboards, uh, which may be a bit of a problem for you if you're looking to take up your stairs to your flat or things like that, but other than that, this keyboard is great for its price. Okay, so moving on to our next keyboard, we have the Yamaha P45. This is the first of the P series keyboards that Yamaha do. It has 10 different voices for you to choose from, not quite as many as the Korg as we know, but however, it is, it is much more simply laid out. There are little markings helping you navigate your way around the keyboard for the voices over there and the metronome system here which I find is a much better layout and it helps you understand what you're doing and where you're going a lot easier. The metronome feature on this keyboard is also more advanced as well, giving you an option to change the volume of your metronome, the time signature of your metronome, and the tempo of your metronome. This keyboard, along with the P125, have Yamaha's graded hammer action weighted keys, which basically means that much like on an acoustic piano, the, the keys on the lower octaves will be heavier and slightly, they'll have slightly more resistance as you press them. And then as you go towards the higher octaves of the keys, they'll be lighter with less resistance, which is just like how it is on an acoustic piano, which I think is a great feature if you're really looking to have that feel um, that an acoustic piano would produce. This keyboard is nice and light, which is good. I would say it's in between the B2 and the P125, which is great for a university student who might need to carry it upstairs and all the rest of it. So it comes in very handy for that aspect. Although one downfall I would say about the P45 here is that the speakers aren't overly powerful. I mentioned on the Korg that they, are, they do produce a nice punchy sound, which is great. However, on the P45, you don't quite get that same punch and you should be able to notice it if I just play now. So this is full volume and I'm playing as hard as I can. Although the EQ is slightly more spread out, so you do get a tiny bit more depth and brightness to your playing, 
but you will definitely notice that the volume doesn't go quite as loud as the Korg B2. Though I should mention that all of these keyboards do come with headphone jacks, which is exactly what you're gonna need if you're a university student and you wanna keep the noise down so you don't disturb your friends. So moving on to the last of the three keyboards, we have the Yamaha P125. As you may have guessed, this is the next model up from the P45 here. This keyboard, though it is by quite a significant amount the most expensive keyboard out of the three, around 150 to 200 pound more, you get so much more with it and it really is worth every penny. So why is that, you may be wondering. Well, let me show you. As you can see, straight off the bat, this keyboard not only looks a whole lot more advanced, but it also has a whole lot more features and buttons to play with, that it has 50 demo songs installed into the keyboard for you to listen to. This can really do a great job at sparking creativity and helping you learn new pieces. So if I just demonstrate that, all you gotta do is hold demo song and click any one of the keys. Yeah, another one here. I think that is a wonderful feature and it can really keep you entertained for hours and hours. <clears throat> Next we have the metronome feature here. This is a lot more advanced as well. It gives you different time signatures. It allows you to change the tempo and the volume. Same as on the P45, although it is slightly more simply laid out, I would say. Next to the metronome feature, we have the rhythm option. This is one of my favorite additions to the P125. You have endless amounts of different rhythms and drum and bass backings that you can play along to as you're playing. I'll just give you an example of that now. So if your bandmates are, are preoccupied and they're, they're stuck at home, you can have your own band here and be playing along to them for as long as you want. So I think that's an excellent feature. Another excellent addition to the P125 is that you can actually record what you're playing and play it back to yourself. Not only that, you can actually record your left hand playing a part to a piece. Say that you're learning a new piece and you can't quite put the hands together yet. No worries. Record the left hand using this button here that says L on it. And then you'd separately record the right hand onto it and the keyboard will play both back to you at the same time so you can get an idea of how they sound when they're put together, which can really help with your coordination and with your playing when learning new pieces. Moving on to the voices that the keyboard has, this P125 actually has 24 voices in total, four of them being piano voices. Um, all of them sounding so rich and unique in their own way. I'll just quickly demonstrate some of the piano ones now. So this is the first piano option. The next one. Much more bright and abrupt. Along with this, you actually get a split option, a split mode, which means you can play two instruments at once and you can even split the instruments so you get one instrument coming out of this half of the keyboard and another instrument out of this hand. So you can have a different instrument on each hand, which is absolutely incredible. Let's just demonstrate that now. Let's put some strings and some electric piano together. So I just click both at the same time, like that. Now I should have both coming out at the same time. How 
incredible is that? One of my, it's, I find it so fun and uh, you can just get so easily carried away with this keyboard. I should also mention in terms of sound, this keyboard excels dramatically. You have four speakers on the, equipped to the P125. Two of them, the slightly smaller ones, come out of the bottom of the keyboard, giving you some nice depth and bass, and it would fill out the room you're in. And then you get these two slightly bigger speakers on the top, which project the volume straight out right into your face, so you cannot complain that this keyboard is <laughs> not loud enough. Um, it will produce a nice crisp and punchy sound, and the fact that it has four speakers really improves the, the quality of the sound as well, giving you such a nice crisp depth to your playing. Not to mention, there's also an option for you to boost the sound. If I was to hold function, which is by holding metronome and rhythm at the same time, and then click sound boost on, on this C sharp here. On. The lady just told me it's on. And now, this is as loud as the keyboard will get. So it really produces an, a remarkable amount of sound and depth and volume to it. And it very closely resembles that of an acoustic piano. I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this, but this is actually the lightest of the three keyboards as well, which you would not expect considering it's the most expensive and it has the most features and it's got the biggest speakers, but it is quite significantly the lightest of the three, which will really help you if you're a university student and you need it to be portable. So that's the P125 by Yamaha. So we've had the Korg B2 being the cheapest of the three keyboards. It has great punchy speakers for its price, although the layout is slightly confusing if you're new to this keyboard and the weight is fairly heavy. But for its price, it does an excellent job and it has 12 voices for you to play with, which is a great amount of voices considering the keyboard that it is. We've had the Yamaha P45, slightly more lighter. It will cost you roughly 40 to 50 pound more, but in terms of its layout, it's much more simple and less confusing to navigate. And the, the weighted key system is slightly more advanced. And yeah, although it does lack a bit in terms of the punchiness of the sound, but you will get a slightly more broader EQ. And then lastly, we've got the Yamaha P125, as you can tell, this is by far the best of the three keyboards. It's my personal favorite, though it will cost you a slightly larger amount of money. But if you have got that little bit extra to spend, I would highly recommend uh, checking out the P125. Obviously, it's a lot more lighter, as I mentioned, with a lot more punchier sound um, and more depth and range to its volume and way more features to play with. So this has been my top three keyboards for the aspiring pianist that's heading off to university. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to our mailing list to receive our weekly newsletters, special offers and updates on all of our top quality products. The link for these three keyboards will be in the description below, so make sure you go and check that out and see what you think of them. I've been Max from ePianos. See you in the next video. Bye for now.